I'm going to show you how to tear down a Panasonic Lumix ZS10 so that we can clean the CCD. Now this camera is the same camera as the European version that's known as the TZ20. Plus, this process of tearing it down is the same process that you would use if you needed to tear it down to replace this LCD unit. You'll need a double aught Phillips head screwdriver to tear it down. The first thing you need to do is to remove the battery. We'll start by removing the two end pieces. There's two screws in each one. Next, we'll remove three screws that are on the bottom. Once you have the end pieces off, you can see that the front and the back are slightly interlocked. This is where the screws had gone through the end plates. All you have to do is just put a small screwdriver in there and make sure that they're not interlocked so that you can lift the covers off. Next, we'll remove the LCD unit. To do that, there's two clips, one on the top and one on the bottom. Do the bottom one first. And then do the top one. It's right here. Now you can see that there's three flat ribbon cables connected to it. I'll show you how to disconnect those now. Now you could actually do this whole job without unhooking the flat ribbon cables from the LCD unit, but why take a chance on damaging those things? It's real easy to, to disconnect them. Just take a small screwdriver and put it underneath the small black tab right there and push it up. Do it on all three of them. And then just lightly pull the cables out. Now if you were tearing this down to replace the LCD unit, all you would have to do now is reconnect the new one and put it back together. But we're going to continue because we want to get to the CCD so that we can clean it. Next we'll take out three screws. One here, one here, and one here. And that'll allow us to remove this shield. Once the three screws are out, you can remove the shield by lightly lifting on this small clip on the bottom and one on the end. All right, we're almost there. This part here is the CCD unit. This is the part that grabs the image from the lens optics and sends it over to the electronics. Now if you have a problem with dust on your pictures, there's a good possibility the dust is just on the CCD unit. There's three screws that we need to remove. 
but before we do, we'll disconnect the flat ribbon cable. To disconnect the flat ribbon cable, we do the exact same thing. We put a small screwdriver underneath the black tab and then lift. Once that tab is up, you can put a small screwdriver underneath the flat ribbon and just lift real lightly. It'll come right out. Now we could also do this entire job without disconnecting this flat ribbon. But by disconnecting it, we'll be able to remove the CCD completely and we'll be able to see that it's actually clean when we're done. Plus, we'll have better access to the lens that's directly below it. All right, with the three screws out, we can just lift that right off. Now, right off the bat, I can see dust on that CCD. And that tells me I'm in the right spot, and this is most likely where I'm getting the dust problem on my pictures. Now, in addition to checking the CCD, you also want to check the lens that's directly below it. And again, I can see a piece of dust right there. So I'm absolutely sure that this is the problem. And I won't have to open the lens unit up any further. When it comes to cleaning a CCD or a lens that just has dust on it, and it doesn't have a smear or a smudge on it, my policy is don't touch the lens or the CCD with a rag or a brush. Many times you'll just add more stuff to it. Just use air, but you can't use compressed air. Compressed air many times has oil in it, and you can really screw things up with that. Just use something like this, and with that you can see if you can blow the dust off first. Because if you can, you're way ahead. In addition to the CCD, you should also blow the circuit board and everything off. That way, if there's dust on there, it's not going to get back on the CCD after you put it back together. After you've used air on it, just look at it and see if the dust is gone. Now, I can see the dust is gone on this one, so I am absolutely not going to use a brush or a cloth on it. There's no reason to. Okay, next we'll blow off the lens unit. Okay, now I can see that all the dust is gone. That lens is clean, so I'm not going to use a brush or a cloth on it at all. All I'm going to do now is put it back together and I'll test it. Now we'll put the flat ribbon cable back in its socket. Once it's completely in there, just push the bar, the black bar, back down. And now it's locked back in place.
Next, we'll hook the flat ribbon cables up for the LCD unit. Now one thing that's really good to do after you've connected the three flat ribbon cables for the LCD is to put the battery back in the camera and turn it on to test it. If the LCD screen doesn't light up when you turn the camera on, it's probably going to be this connector right here. All you have to do is flip the paddle back up and reinsert the flat ribbon cable and then push the paddle back down. Then test it again. Okay, this one's working. Now before we put the back cover on, we want to make sure that the switch, this one, is in the same position as the switch that it goes over. You can see the black post on this one is in the up position. So we want to make sure that this is also up so that it goes over correctly. Okay, now we'll check it real quick. And it looks like we're good to go. I don't see any dust.